Good day, tamers. You can probably see something behind me. I'm going to try and move this in real time so you can see it a bit better. Nope, that's not the right one. We're going to go for me. Me. I'm here somewhere. It's the August 2024 Evo Cup Wave 2. For those of you out there who are looking forward to EX7, this is the perfect time to get your cards a little bit earlier than you should be. Wink. And uh, join again. We will be talking more about the hot promo summer that you may be noticing going on currently in Digimon. That's everything I was already starting to plan out for the summer when it comes to bt17 but uh talk to your locals as a lot of locals have said that they're still running events even though they haven't got their packages yet um you may have been looking at card market or you sorry card market or um facebook market you may be seeing people going like hey i've got boxes already i'm looking to sell them for like 300 dollars don't be that person don't be that person they're not meant to be sold you guys know this come on play the game properly be a winner be me, be a winner, be a real winner. Can't win a real competition, but Evo Cup, I can win an Evo Cup. And coming up, there may be even more of a, uh, a one-off special that you guys might enjoy, because I know a lot of people like to watch me suffer, and suffer I shall. But let's jump into the real part of today's episode, and that will be with the promos and some news from BT17. So, as you may see, quick transition. I'm good at transitions, I swear, and not that I preset this up earlier, but... Diaborum and here, if you can see here, it's looking cheapest here, currently at £25. Let's say 26 take of it, and then probably with shipping from Spain, as it is over £25, you'll probably have to pay postage, which will be signed for probably, so you'll be looking like 30 minimum now. As you may have noticed, they are looking a bit to be uh, a bit pricey on that end, but at the same time, you could just go for the alternate art, which is currently sitting at around about the same price. For those of you who didn't pick these up earlier, Unfortunately, the train has gone, and the only people that are left are scalpers. Now, since people are scalping, just that the prices aren't getting to the point of ridiculousness because people want to play this as possibly even a four of in the new deck. It's a good card. I just don't really see people playing it as a four of, maybe a two. I think people are playing just a one of because you have a good option still, especially with the new ones coming out in now. If you are in Europe, uh, not the UK though, not the UK. Uh, Zubamon though is apparently still rocketing towards the moon as it can go. Uh, even though Ragnar Lord has only won the one thing and since then it has basically fallen back into the dark hole it should live in. Uh, we will be getting the reprints of this in the regional set in September. So for those who can go to either a in-person event or to a online regional, check your nearest uh, competitive company. For those of you out there, like a TCG player probably does have a little um, mock-up of all tournaments if they have it. I know they do for other uh, games, probably do for this as well. If not, go check out Digimon card game roughly on a friday friday's number of the day the update there tournaments unless something happens on the monday so mondays or fridays is your your best bet but rate and trade did get their next online regional after the current weekend which will be next weekend and we will be getting the 26th of october i say questioningly uh, that will be our next event going forwards and we'll be playing uh, these uh, lovely guys for prizing so i do expect these prices to start coming down roughly around about the start of september we also have good old Terramon. Terramon here is unfortunately getting a little bit of the old buyout creep. In this case, it's more of a lack of product. We are getting the alternates coming out with the French Anime Expo uh, Gen Con this weekend, I do believe, as well as Gamescom at the end of August, he says, question mark. Um, to get the alternate art of these, people are currently selling these for quite a lot. Shoe on the other hand, is still stay staying around about the same, sort of like three to five hour mark, but he's currently getting lower and lower on uh, market. But unfortunately, if you do want to get yourself some of these, you are unfortunately having to deal with the French. Oh, we win. Uh, after this, though, you are looking at the Germans, be it in the end of August, who probably will be a bit more favourable. And we'll probably price these at a more reasonable price, maybe about the 15 to 20 mark. If it's anything like last year, and these aren't too hard to get, as I don't know how the, you get these currently at Gamescom, because they haven't really announced it yet. Uh, if it's anything like the Vmons from last year, you'll be picking up a place of these probably for about £30 on release. More fun on though, as everyone is hyping themselves up now for the beloved Isamon deck and that very moody looking bitch uh, coming out of BT17. Current price of these is 20. If you didn't pick up your playset of these earlier, what were you doing? Probably saving up for something more important. But nonetheless, these are now going to cost you <laughs> £80 for a playset if you are looking into that. Maybe more so as these aren't exactly all uh, multiple seller, uh, multiple copies from one seller. So yeah, probably looking more about the £100 mark for a playset of these if you didn't get yours earlier. If you wish to play the Isomon package, that is. Also going into Raremon, though this card is getting its reprint in September, similar to Zubamon, 
it's still holding a price point. Um, people still want to play this in things like Machindra, things like Dark Lords. Um, I think there's like a weird synergistic build with Motus Man, Motus Man X come out, which is coming out slowly more and more as the weeks go by. That people do want to play this in. So you probably will see this staying in the same sort of price until the uh, reprint comes out and then maybe dropping down to 15 to 12 over the coming weeks, which is still a very good price for this card. Give it uh, its current situation. Going over now into Secret Crisis. Crisis, that's not so secret. Um, prices in this have already started to sort of settle into a nice region, I say. The regular art of the Greymon here, which is the Secret Rare, is already sitting around about the 15 to 20 pound mark, which on release for a Secret Rare is actually really good. Generally only really going to be good in a number of decks such as the new Omnimon Ace deck, as well as some variants of the Greymon Tribal stuff. So, if you really do want this card, I'll probably say wait a little bit longer, see if it goes down to 12 to 10 first before you want to put your foot in the water, but otherwise, play a set of these for roughly £60. Probably isn't too bad, and it's probably one of the more expensive purchases of yourselves from this set. If you are looking to play more of the Shine stuff, because Shine is a very cheap deck to put, get into, which you may or may not do a video on in the future about how cheap Digimon can be for those who want to get in and actually play a competitive style deck, so it's looking pretty good here, very similar to the price of the other burst modes, which are going roughly for around about the 250 mark to £3 mark. Uh, again, you only really want one of these, maybe if you really want to get into like a yellow base only version of the deck, you want to pick up maybe three of these, but again, for £10 of three of these, you can't go too wrong, and it's a pretty good card. Blast Ace is an amazing skill, so uh, go for it, you hand trap fiends. Now going over to Fenrir, the other secret from this set, a little bit more expensive than the grey one, but it also only has the application in one deck specifically. Um, for those of you out there who want to play this, I think it's a very fun deck. I think it's a very good deck. I did rate it as probably one of the best decks for BT17. Not necessarily the best deck, but definitely one of the top 10 decks to play. I think we did like six in that, that video. Um, but again, prices are fairly simple, fairly good. Anything basically under 20 for the most part, and it will be going down over the next coming days, as next week will be full release. I will say, if you find a price that you like, maybe 15, maybe 14 for these, probably pick them up where you can, and then hopefully don't suffer too much of the consequences when they go down to 10 to 12 over the coming weeks but bt17 i think will be a box that gets cracked open quite a lot as of all the alternate art colorings as we have here with this one and this beautiful alt art which i do like the most uh, but this one is already trending at around about 400 pounds so you know it makes the other things cheaper if you're trying to crack over all the sps right gallop on the other hand here is still sitting around at the six part do better than shine that's always feels good to me uh, again one of those very weird cards that's really, really good in uh, Gallatmon stuff, but not necessarily amazing in uh, any other red deck. It will still do its thing. It just wants to blast ace over a red card, so you don't have to worry about that too much. But at the same time, you could generally run better level 7s in a red deck looking at you Omnimon Blitz from BT5. Again, amazing card. Can't tell that away from me. I'll always say it's probably one of the best cards for level 7s for a red or blue deck. Going now into the beautiful looking other side of the <laughs> Ancient Spectrum right now. We're looking at the lovely Ancient Greymon. Currently sitting around at the £3 mark. I would recommend picking these up for this price if you can. Obviously, unlike the other Ancient Greymon that was a secret rare, this one is only a, a super rare. At the same time though, picking up these play sets probably like 20 quid of postage. I would consider it greatly if I was you. Because it's still a really good deck. It's just not on the same level as... The next PC, which is Ancient Grumon, who is currently the most expensive uh, super rare in this set. And it wouldn't surprise me if this overtakes the other secrets in this set to be the most expensive base rarity in the set. As you can see, these are pushing up though, but there are definitely people here who have cracked cases worth. If there's 17 here, that's a minimum of probably two cases, I'd say. Let's see, you had 18, which would be uh, nine hits per case, which sounds about right. Um, for those of you who are looking to play this, it is a fantastic deck. It's very fun. It's very... Uh, in brackets, smooth uh, gameplay. You can play either variant of either the red base or you can play the blue, blue base with the promo Lobo Mon. I personally like the red base, that's my opinion. You can take it as you like, play whatever version you prefer. I just think the red base is a bit more sticky compared to the blue base. Then going over now to Omnimon, who is currently sitting at the six, cheaper than the Galamon. Galamon's very cool, guys. Talk to the guy who loves Galamon. Um, again, you are generally wanting to play like three of these though per deck, so it is a little bit cheaper, but again, you want to be playing three of these, whereas Gallimon probably only playing two. So you are looking around about the £18 mark. Again, all single sellers here for quite a while. And then the next one with the multiple is for eight. So you are looking around 
30 if you want to do that way. Otherwise, you're probably looking at 20 ish if you're looking at these, and then with postage, depending on postage, obviously, of your uh, current facility. Uh, obviously, it also has an alt art form here, which will then push the price down. It also has a SP, which is currently going for a stupid price, which I believe it is. Ah, it's not so bad. Uh, originally, it was going for like two and a half thousand, but I think they must have pulled that down a little bit. Uh, it's coming from Athena's Hobby, a very good shop that I've worked with before. So, hopefully, if you are looking for a decent bargain, that's probably the best price I've seen so far for this card. As I was, I've seen these selling for over a thousand already. Go over now to Armageddon. I looked at this last night because I was actually going to do this video yesterday, and the prices were insane. And I was like, there's no way in how these prices are going to stick. Because when I checked out this, these were like 47 pounds each. And I was like, no one wants this card that much. And now you can see after a day, they're already down to less than two pounds. What people have told me, you only want to play one of these instead of playing the other one, which you don't think you want to go two and one. Um, so yeah, pick up these cheap. You can probably get these from like a, a trade from somebody at uh, locals or probably just buy them a drink and they'll probably pass it on to you. But yeah, for those of you playing Diablo, it's a fairly decent card, but it's not always going to be what you need it to be, which is the issue. It's more of an end game card if you're running out of stuff. And then finally, looking at Paladin Ace, probably the best ace in the set, unfortunately, looking at you again, I'm not quite the best this time. Uh, most expensive ace here, nearly 11. You are looking to play this in multiple different decks. So you want to play this in Ancient, you want to play this in Omnimon, and you want to play this in its own name stuff, such as uh, Magna, as well as Imperial. A fun card, great card, really good into certain strategy, especially currently going on in the meta. So it doesn't surprise me these cards are nearly around about the 11 mark. But again, very cheap, and then instantly going up now into the 14s, and then not long until you start hitting the 20s. So if you're out there and you're looking for these cards, Get yourself into the action as you can. And that'll probably be it for today. So thank you very much for that hot promo summer. And we'll see you guys soon for the next video. Mwah. But just a reminder that we will be moving house shortly. This is probably the last live video you're going to get from us for a little bit. We'll still be having Swiftly vs Swiftly on Monday. Enjoy that. And then you'll probably be seeing us with the new challenge coming in the coming weeks. So have yourselves a great summer. Peace out and goodbye. Mwah.